So let us talk about the rules of differentiation. Now before we get into it, the process of determining a derivative from first principle is usually time consuming. And especially when you're working with complicated functions. So unless a question asks you to use first principles, it's easier to always use this rules. So let's get into the first one. So the first rule, we say if you have a function, which is ax to the power of n, when going from the function to its derivative, we multiply the coefficient of x with the exponent of x, meaning that we multiply a times n, and we also subtract 1 from the exponent. So whatever our value for our exponent is, we will subtract 1. So if this is our function, that will be your derivative. So an example of this is if you have a function which is 4x to the power 3, the derivative of this would be 4 times 3x and 3 minus 1. So as you can see, we multiply the exponent by the coefficient of x. And we subtracted the exponent by 1. So the final answer for this will be 12 x squared, and that's it. So now rule two, we say that if you have a function and the function is just a constant, the derivative would be equals to zero. So the derivative of any constant is always equals to zero. So example, if I have a function and let's say this function is three, the derivative of this function will just be equals to zero. Whenever you have an addition of different functions, it could also be an addition and a subtraction of different functions. We normally say that the derivative of it is you differentiating them individually. So what I mean by that is, let's try out an example. We have this function. To find this question, we need to derive each and every one of this individually. So for the first one, this here, when you multiply the coefficient with your power, you would get 15, and you subtract one from your exponent, you would get two. And the same thing for this, you multiply seven, times 2 which gives you 14 then you subtract 2 from 1 and that's 1 and since the derivative of any constant is always 0 this is just 0 writing this properly this will be the derivative of your function So this question asks us to find the y over dx, meaning we want us to find the derivative of this equation, which is x squared minus 3 over the square root of x. Now, the first thing we will do is to simplify this. Now, before we can do any derivative, we need to simplify this as best as possible, right? We need it to look something like this. Yeah? So if it looks like that, it means that we can easily do the rules of differentiation to differentiate it. But before we get there, let us simplify it a little bit. Yeah. So the first thing we'll do is we break the division sign. Then we change the thirds into exponents. Then using the laws of exponents, we can subtract the first one here because they are divided and whenever the bases are the same and there's a division sign we subtract the exponent and for the other one we could actually bring the x up it turns into negative that's why you have negative half then simplifying this
So looking at this, we notice it actually looks like this. And we do the differentiation of this by multiplying the coefficient by the exponent and subtracting the exponent by 1. So applying that to our equation, we would say that this would be And that's it. But normally in question, we prefer not to leave our exponents negative. So we change that real quick. So we can see that this is the derivative of the equation that they wanted. Now this question wants us to find the derivative of 1 minus x to the power half and 1 minus 2x to the power negative half. To answer this question, we need to expand the bracket. So we will FOIL. So opening this bracket, you will get 1 We've simplified as far as we can get, so with this we can now differentiate, so this will give you Now since we can leave our answers in negative exponents, we will move them to the denominator And this will be your final answer. That's it. This is exactly how you can use the rules of differentiation to find the derivative of a function. Well, all done.